Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to uh, review this product. Uh, so I ordered a DC fan that claims to have uh, 1500, 15,000 RPM. So let's check it out and see how it goes. Okay, looks dirty. So, so we have got our new exhaust fan uh, for my laser cutter, for my K40 laser cutter. So over here we can, as you can see, uh, it's from Jaro um, 811. 811 HBF 9 3GP uh, DC 12 volt and 1.9 fan 5 ampere so it's uh, almost 24 watts and <clears throat> on the description of uh, of this uh, exhaust fan uh, on Daraz it was written that it can go up to or even uh, more than 15,000 RPM so uh, we'll check that fact out uh, using an iPhone app called um, something spec related with spectrum mm, okay <clears throat> so let's give it uh, 12 volts first so we've got our power supply so we've got our power supply with this connectors and then it's written that's 12 volt 12 volt 1 ampere output so let's give it a try so we've got some DC connectors uh, for the fan so we'll be soldering this thing onto this terminals Let's join. Let's connect this. So it's turning on and off after reaching some speed. Okay. <coughs> it's 
since uh, <clears throat> I think since this is rated at 12 volts and 1 ampere it couldn't go beyond 1 ampere so it's drawing uh, quite a bit of current and it, it has a built-in protection circuit that cuts off uh, once it's uh, more than 1.5 uh, once it's uh, more than 1 ampere current draw so <clears throat> uh, anyway uh, we'll check out the rpm uh, for the maximum um, for the maximum speed okay let's do that again So we'll be using an app called Spectrum Analyzer uh, on an iPhone. Mm, I'll put a link down for that. Mm. Now we have everything set up uh, to test the um, RPM of this exhaust fan. So we'll start uh, mm, start an app called Spectrum Analyzer on iPhone. I'll put a link uh, down below for the app so so we can zoom in over here and see the frequencies so it's from about zero from about zero it has a range of zero to ten thousand hertz so let's start this thing Zoom in. So the main peak is at <coughs> is about um, four thousand. Since the power supply is not stable, uh, we are going to use another 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 power supply, an old power supply that has. Uh, it's 9 volts and 850 milliampere output so we'll use this one even though it's uh, rated uh, 9 volts Let's see how it goes okay. As you can see, the, the peak frequency is about, I cannot find a peak, <coughs> ah, okay, so the peak is, uh, is about 4000 in this one as well. So, what I found is uh, the the dominant frequency is around uh, four thousand RPM. So, <clears throat> we'll do a quick search on Amazon, AliExpress, and see 
if we have got similar fan online on those sites and uh, try to figure out the RPM. So now we'll do a quick search on Amazon if we can if we can find uh, the same fan with this part number or in AliExpress. This doesn't look like anything like that. So these these are computer fans. Um, Search it's, it's just going for five ampere. Not the actual fan we are looking for. Let's try AliExpress. Okay, here we go. So this is the fan we are looking for. Why is it so in German? Sprache. Deutsch. So this looks like the same fan we are looking after. Okay, so this is the fan. Let's see the specifications for this one. What is the specification? The specification. Okay, let's just uh, search for for data sheets. Okay, mouse. This is different, different fan, I guess. LF that we are looking for GP F93 GP F93 GP. Okay, this is actually the same fan. Um, 811 HP F93 GP. 8111 to 3GP, okay. So, we have the specifications of it's a DC fan. Uh, okay, here's the speed. Uh, it says 4300 RPM. And not actually 15,000 RPM have there, as they have mentioned. So, it's quite close to what we found uh, during our testing. So there we go. That's our conclusion. It's not actually fifteen thousand, uh, but it's forty three hundred RPM. So that's it. Uh, so if you'd like uh, to see more of this uh, kind of stuff, please do subscribe to my channel. Mm. Okay. Thanks.